Yo, what's up? Yo. Joey and Nick here. I'm um, just going to do a little quick run through of some of the tracks in the movies. Um, some of the stuff that makes, uh, we call it the sauce, some of the stuff that makes the song cool. So, here we go. Right off the bat, got some cool sounds. It's actually a guitar, reverse guitar with some other things here. It's a Joey special. It's a Joey special. <laughs> So that, that guitar impact is actually throughout a lot of the song, it, kind of on the twos and fours, or on the fours, I guess. It kind of sounds like a snare. You can hear it. Uh, there we go. Uh, that was actually one of the first sounds we made the song, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, the classic, uh, what you call this? Just a loop made with a guitar. It was this and uh, just the, uh, the program right. drum, drums. Oh, drums, yeah, that's right. It's like how this all <laughs> kind of started. Yeah, which it was... just kick and snare. This is actually the original. That's it. That's it. That's the freaking sauce right there for you. And then these are the real drums we stacked in there. Which, uh, we like to mix the real drums um, with samples gives it kind of a, a real attack, which sounds cool. Um, it's kind of moving on. Let's get to the drums So the other thing I wanted to show you guys was, uh, it's called a vocoder, which is like something we use a lot to give vocals texture. So it's actually a synthesizer that you send the lead vocal to, and uh, the notes you play, it sings those notes. Um, so we actually stack that a lot of times with the lead vocal. When we touch something and it moves me. It was a kind of robotic, but it gives you kind of some depth, which is feels really just like. like the movie. Um, we do a lot of songs. Used vocal synth too for this one, I'm pretty sure. We got all of our sauce channels for vocals, which is kind of like the big uh, verbed out things. Uh, we, yeah, we always throw just a ton of reverb, we sidechain it. Um, just stuff that like gives it that kind of ear candy that when you're listening to it, you're like, it, it makes you feel an emotion. Uh, just kind of fills some space as well. Going back in. So. These are just the real drums, which is just, I think, Two room mics. Yeah, recorded back here. Back here, here. Basement. <laughs> basement. Uh, there's just two room mics. Uh, I think we did kick and snare as well, but yeah. we didn't really use them as much. We just kind of like take the room sound and uh, over, like put a little bit of uh, overdrive on it. And Nick just plays it perfectly as usual. And don't stop, baby, don't tell me that it's there's actually not a lot going on in this song. It's pretty, uh, pretty cool. There's a couple guitars like in the chorus. Which sounds weird on its own, but in context, I think it sounds pretty cool. Yeah. 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 It's actually, uh, I used uh, my dad's old, like, 1980s solid state PV amp. Not that anyone cares, but it's, like, not a great amp, but it just sounded cool for this for whatever reason. Super, like, 80s sounding. There we got just the roads going the whole song. basically one of the main pads and there's a couple synth pads. Kind of Show them that. John on the two and fours, dude. Oh, no, that's not it. <laughs> I don't remember adding this part. <laughs> oh yeah, so we love doing this on the snare hits two and four. We did it in a, we're doing a couple songs. It just feels so good once everything gets going. Um, so These are all the pads going at once. It's an arcade game in there. But. Oh, God. 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 Oh,
sure you guys want to hear John's pretty voice. Don't stop, baby. Don't tell me that it's over. Oh, I can't take it. I'm shaking on the sofa. You know there's nothing like you and I together. Cause when we touch, something in it moves me. I swear to God, feels just like the movie. And then we've got, uh, this is Nick's voice in the background here. <laughs> Honestly, Nick has... That might be what I would sound like if I did sing. Honestly, Nick, Nick sings really well. Don't let him lie to you. But he has, uh, he sings with more emotion than anyone I've ever heard. It's just his pitch is a little shaky sometimes, but it's good. Uh, yeah, so we just got basically like a, a low octave that we fomented down. We like to actually uh, really push the auto tune on harmonies because it makes some weird artifacts that sound cool in context. Uh, so we've got uh, so like here's the lead vocal with the vocoder and just those harmonies. Don't stop, baby, don't tell me that it's over. I can't take it. I'm shaking on the sofa. You know there's nothing like you and I together. Cause when we touch something and it moves me I swear to God, it feels just like the movies Something <laughs> and it moves me Just a little crash there Feels just like the movies so yeah, I mean, it's, like I said, there's not a ton going on in this song That's why we love it, it's kind of just a vibe and it feels good the whole time so here's some Sonato bass right there. That was you. No, I'm pretty sure it was you. Just some, some uh, what is that, a J bass? Fender J bass. Yeah. Shout out to Fender. Don't we always do two is in choruses. Yeah, just, it's called sub bass. Just lower octave. Just gives it some more body. Kicks it up a notch. Kicks it up a notch. Emerald Lagasse style. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> so that's that. I mean, it's a pretty simple song. Uh, we love this song. We love you guys. Kind of embraced this song and made it something cool. So yeah, the song originally started on tour. You know, we just made had that guitar part and that drum loop. And we kind of sat on it for like... What did we name it? Mom's House or something Mom, like that? We named it Mom. We didn't have any lyrics. It was just <laughs> like that and like a couple melodies that John sang. And When we're writing uh, songs, especially on tour, uh, we just have like a mic set up. We just track like, you know, mush mouth, we call it. Just kind of like melodies or whatever. And Nick was doing that and for some reason he sang... Driving past well, John, John sang a melody and then I was just like, oh, that, that's what I would say if I, if I had my own band. But... <laughs> So then yeah, we just we, called it Mom's House until... Yeah, so we had that song, it was like a couple months, that, that track, and then once we got back from tour, we finished it and mm -hmm. did, did everything else here in Joe's basement. In like a day, I yeah. think. We had it one day. It just kind of came together real quick. Because we decided we wanted to release it, and we were just like, you know what, whatever, let's just do it. We took, spent one yeah. day just kind of filling the track out, tracking live drums, mixing every... I mean, uh, <laughs> mixing drums, and then sending yeah. it to Matt, who's amazing, and he, he mixed it for us, and a couple of versions back and forth, and that was that. Yeah. Nothing too crazy, you know, uh, but we love this song. And like I said, we just like really appreciate you guys streaming it and uh, really embracing the song. It means a lot to us, and uh, we're excited for new music we've got coming, and uh, we'll do more stuff like this uh, in the future. Sick. See you guys. Thanks, guys. Maybe that didn't work the whole time. Oh, it did!